Welcome to the Artist Studio. I'm Michael and I'm a reference associate here at the Ritter Public Library. Today we'll be speaking with Janine Bolesky. She is a watercolorist from Vermilion and she is a member of the Vermilion's Art Guild and actually won the Librarian's Award in the last community show we had before the pandemic. Uh, Janine, do you want to tell us a little bit about yourself? Well, I am a longtime watercolor artist, mm -hmm. pretty much self-taught, a few, a few um, classes here and there because you need mm -hmm. that. <laughs> but um, I stuck with watercolors because, well, I started with watercolor because I painted it at my kitchen table and I was raising two kids and we had family <laughs> and mm -hmm. it's the quickest, the quickest to get out and the quickest mm -hmm. to put away. So okay, that's, yeah. and then I just kept with it because mm -hmm. it is a fun medium to use. Yeah. And then you, um, how long have you been painting? I started painting in 1992, but mm -hmm. took a long break because I had to start working full time mm -hmm. and then still raising two sons. So I didn't have time to paint. So, yeah. And you're currently a member of the Vermilion's Art Guild, um, and you live yes. in Vermilion? Mm-hmm, yeah. yeah. How long have you, so, have you lived here your entire life? No, no, um, I lived in Westlake before oh, okay. we moved out here. And we moved out here for my husband, he likes to fish and hunt, and this is where oh. he was doing it all, so we moved mm -hmm. out here, so. Okay. It's a lovely community. Mm -hmm. All right, well, um, I had you send us over some art, so I'm gonna, Pull it up here and we can talk about it a little bit. Uh, you should be able to see it now. This is the one oh, you yes. sent over. This is your most recent painting, right? Right. Um, I haven't named it yet. Mm -hmm. It was, I haven't painted a whole lot. I lost my studio. Uh, oh, okay. didn't, didn't, lose it but I had to move out of my studio mm -hmm. um, this summer and I was notified of it last April and it's just it was, I was there for 10 years and it was just mm -hmm. a lot of work and a lot of emotional mm -hmm. things along with it so I really I just packed up and, and left and I haven't really painted a lot since then oh, okay. but this painting is the one of the ones I finished recently. Mm -hmm. And I, I'm, I'm real, most people when they hear my name and actually it's Janine Jacobs dash Bolesky because I have oh, a lot okay. of paintings out there. My maiden oh. name, Janine Jacobs. Oh, okay. But um, they associate me with flowers, mm -hmm. flower paintings, florals. I do loose, very loose watercolors, which is why which we I actually it. have. You sent us over one of your mm -hmm. flower ones, which is actually the next one. So okay. I can actually show that one now. And this one is called Floral Symphony. Yes. Mm -hmm. And when did you do this one? Uh, this one I did about, hmm, probably, probably 10 years ago. Oh, wow. Okay. Uh, I recently updated it, though. Uh, that's another thing that's fun to do when you do mm -hmm. paintings and then you look at, you can look, I mean, I've had this framed and hanging and mm -hmm. I kept looking at it and decided one day, well, I'm just <laughs> gonna change this up a bit. And you can do that with watercolor. Most people don't realize that. So anyway, yeah. So this one is a, a good example of my loose style with flowers. Mm -hmm. Now, um, for your paintings, do you usually use a reference or do you just well, paint it freely? Yeah, actually, most of my paintings are just painted freely, just something mm -hmm. I think, mm -hmm. especially my florals. I never use a reference for florals. Okay. Um, the landscape one, I had a, my son lives in Albuquerque and is in love with the mountains, Albuquerque, mm -hmm. Mexico, mm -hmm. and is in love with the mountains. So he sent me a couple of his favorite photos. He's a photographer of the mountains. So I used those combined and came up with the painting that that one hmm. so okay yeah, um, a lot of artists do that they'll take a couple photographs and go into I don't use photoshop because mm -hmm. I just don't <laughs> um I was a graphic designer um for most of my working life and I'm just done with graphics on the computer so mm -hmm. I don't go there it's not my first go-to so anyway um they'll take photos and they make it their own mm -hmm. 
So the yeah, and you obviously have to be careful with that. With you obviously have to be careful using photos too because um, it might be copyrighted or somebody if you want to sell your art. Um, I know right. there are a lot of a mm -hmm. lot of websites that have uh, freely available uh, photos that you can yeah. use. Mm -hmm. Right, right. But these are um, uh, that painting's a conglomerate of about three or four photos. So you know, just the the feeling of it. Mm -hmm. Do you um, do you always use pure watercolor? I know sometimes people will use like mixed medium, like they might use like acrylic for accents or something. Right. You know what? The last painting, the, the mountain mm -hmm. scene, I did use for the snow. I usually would paint around for the snow. Mm -hmm. You always use the white of the paper. Mm -hmm. This is one of my paintings that I actually used a, a white paint, a white out. It's called PBO and used it for the snow. Okay. Because when I was painting it, I wasn't sure how it was going to turn out, mm -hmm. you know. So then when I got it done, I said, those mountains need snow. So, but <laughs> typically for all my florals and that, I rarely use anything else okay. but hmm. pure watercolor. Well, why don't I show another one of the images you sent over to us? Next one is called Menagerie. Yes. Get that pulled up This here. is one of my favorites. There it is. Can you see there it? You go. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah, this is uh, one of my favorites. Mm -hmm. I, I started playing with a new color turquoise. And um, I, most, this is one of those paintings that just kind of happened. Mm -hmm. And um, I, I just like it. I think it's fun. It's, it's, it's interesting. I think it's yeah, interesting. I really like the colors that you use in the that's yeah the colors are different uh, uh, so anyway this is one of my favorites mm -hmm. and it's not it's about two years old oh okay mm -hmm. um what inspired you to initially do art is there is there like a certain artist that you like or did you have teachers that kind of inspired you oh when i was one of those kids that used to love art class in school mm -hmm. and so uh, i would always sit in the front of mm -hmm. the class I, I, art was always in the back of my mind growing up and as an adult so when I'm my kids were little I just felt I wanted to explore that more mm -hmm. and so I started off with drawing I was drawing a lot and then I went to color so <laughs> right. and watercolor it was the simplest I lived in Brunswick yeah. and hollow paper craft is still there and that's a big it's a big art store way before mm -hmm. its time they have different items and they have paper and watercolor sets so i <laughs> went there and i got mm -hmm. it started hmm. cool um well let me show the last image you sent to us i think this one might be my favorite of the ones you sent over this one is called sue oh yeah And now, did you use a reference for this one or? Yes, I had to use a reference for this mm -hmm. one, yeah. Um, it was a royalty-free reference and I just mm -hmm. wanted to switch it up and paint something different. Yeah. Um, and so, you know, this, if you saw the reference, you would recognize it, but it is a whole lot different than the actual reference this painting is. Mm -hmm. And I just wanted to try something different. So I like this one a lot too. It, this one, uh, sold immediately. Oh wow! Okay, yeah, it's mm -hmm. interesting because you know you have landscapes, you have floral, you have uh, obviously images of people. So obviously you paint a wide range of a wide range of yeah. and topics. Yeah, mm -hmm. to keep myself interested. <laughs> um, do you have any tips for people that are um, interested in watercolors, but also getting started in art in general? Um. Right now, it's the age of the internet. When I started painting, you were lucky to find someone that could teach you mm -hmm. painting, you know, without going to college, because I couldn't mm -hmm. do that. And so if you were interested, you go on YouTube and you can search watercolor painting, acrylic painting, mm -hmm. I mean, you, and you've got everything you need at your fingertips. Mm -hmm. And that's something I would start with immediately if you have an interest in, go there and look mm -hmm. then you can find area classes that um 
because you need to get out and, and yeah. see other people painting and ask mm -hmm. direct questions and you'll find area classes that you can do that with. But if you don't know what you want to do and you've never done anything before, then I suggest going to, on the internet and going to YouTube. Yeah, we actually uh, just got the resource uh, Creative Bug uh, through the library, which actually has um, instructional art videos too that people can use. I think, you know, that's all the questions I had for you. Um, Obviously, people can see your art. Um, is there anywhere else online people can see your art? Because um, obviously, uh, still right now. My, my Facebook page is J Jacobs Artwork mm -hmm. on Facebook, and I have some mm -hmm. art on there, or my regular Facebook page, uh, Janine Jacobs Bolesky, mm -hmm. and they could look there and you know send a. You can look. A lot of it's closed. On my professional page is open to the public. Um, I tend to not put everything on there. It's just a bad yeah. habit I got into. But um, if you sent me a friend request, mm -hmm. you know, I will do that and you can mm -hmm. see whatever you want. But yeah, I don't have a website yet. That's one of my New Year's resolutions <laughs> is to get that going since yeah. I don't have my studio anymore. So. And then obviously once, uh, once everything's open again, you've had art here at the library and around town, so. Oh, absolutely. And the, Once that starts Vermilion up again. Art, yeah, Vermilion Art Guild, I'll be showing paintings at. Yeah. Well, great. Hopefully we can see your art in person soon. And uh, thank you for taking the time out to do this. Well, thank you very much.